Hi, Hi friends. friends! Welcome to the Erin and Krista Show. I'm Erin. And I'm Krista. I mean, we've told you before that even if it's not official, it's still happening. <laughs> <laughs> so even though officially we were separated at birth, <laughs> we're now reunited. Cheers to be For a reunited. special edition of the Erin and Krista Show. Hello. Hi. So if you're new to this channel, this channel used to be our channel. Yes. Collectively. We were together as a unit. We were together. And we didn't like have a falling out or kill each other or hate each other forever or like any drama. Right. There was a divorce, but it was not us. No. <laughs> she got a divorce and she moved out of state and then it just became far too hard to maintain a channel for two people in two different states. Yes. But as things happened, you moved back to Michigan, apparently. <laughs> she moved back. I did, yeah. To Michigan. She and did. So now here we are again. So today we decided to do her hair because COVID, COVID had her looking a little rough. I had not had my hair done <laughs> since November. Now, if you are somebody previous to this channel, you have seen my hair all of the colors and typically always yep. an undercut. Yep. It's still there because it doesn't yep. magically go away. Um, <laughs> but today, so this is done because we don't, I don't have time. I'm just going to be blunt. I don't have time to like do like a hair video like I've done in the past. So we did her hair and I will put in some clips later if you want to see some of the behind the scenes footage. But basically I cut off about four inches from the back. Turn your head to the side. Because this was like, I'm not, I'm shitting you not, down here. It was like I had, I was like a <laughs> mush dog. <laughs> it's from having. So she's been wearing her hair just in the top knot on her top of her head because she couldn't get her hair done. And then we're gonna grow her undercut out. It's the famous undercut is still there, which that looks cute even like, yeah. touched for the time being. Yeah. So I just thinned out by her ears and then didn't do a lot with her texture just because her hair's like fine from half of it missing. Yes. You know, from undercut. I popped in some waves to give it a little style. Yeah. And do we love the like platinum? It looks good. So it? I told her like, this is the first time in a long time she's been a normie. Yes. <laughs> like a normal hair color. Cause my hair's been all of the colors, but what I found, I'm like, no hate to you if you still are rocking the pinks, purples, blues, and greens. Awesome. But I think the first time I ever put a vivid color mm -hmm. in my hair was 1996. Mm -hmm. And I have done it off and on since then. Right. And for about a good 15 years, which is as long as we've been friends, I have constantly had a vivid color like in my something. hair. Like something. Something. And today we were going to do pink, but then, then we, we, were like, then we changed our minds. Yeah. And so it's always been something, but then what happened as it does is like, I got tired of it and I don't work. So lots of things have changed. Yeah. So I don't work at the salon anymore. I'm completely freelance now, which hallelujah. Um, the more older, the more older. You should is. say how people could contact you. Oh, you can find me. You can email me at Chris Tamara, M-U-A. So C-H-R-I-S-T-A-M-A-R-A-M-U-A at gmail.com, Chris Tamara.com. Um, or just send a message to the channel and you can get in touch. Right, so she's not working and I'm not working. No, so which <laughs> things that happen as you get older. Um, I am 38 and she is older than me. And <laughs> <laughs> But the older you get, the more you realize you have time for bullshit. You just don't have time no. for bullshit anymore. The more you don't care about other people's bullshit, you just don't care anymore. And you're yeah. like, you know what? I want to have more time for my family, whatever your family looks like, and less time for other people giant idiots bullshit <laughs> so i'd rather have time with my my family my my family and aaron now has a stepdaughter and a baby daughter and so yeah. she has no time you'll see her she it, doesn't leave she's long. no there's no time and <laughs> you know i used to be one of those people that talk mad shit about moms too but what the fuck are you doing get over get over yourself oh for sure when i mean we're, i think everyone's kind of guilty of that to an extent especially if you go through like a chunk of your adult life child free right so i didn't have a kid until last year i mean my stepdaughter but like a baby and now like my friend who we used to work with she came by like this afternoon and she brought her two littles and we were both just like neither we couldn't even finish conversations uh -uh. like we would start trying to ask each other something and we'd just give up no <laughs> and i'm like i'm sorry i love you but like i don't i can't ask you i don't have you. kids yet we're trying for kids but every time I have friends over in my house and their kids are with them. There's no conversation. It's just whatever the baby's name is insert here being yelled 50 times. Right. And it's not, nobody likes it. No. Let me just and it's it. like, baby, I, baby, don't touch, don't touch, baby, baby, don't touch, don't touch. And that's all it, and that's what it's going to be. And you know what? Fantastic. But 
the point of this whole thing is oh, right. you don't have time for bullshit. One of the, the bullshit things about having vivid hair is the upkeep, especially when you don't work yeah, in a salon. Fun. And it looks great for like a week. Let's just all be honest with each other. It looks great right. for a week and then it fades out and looks like shit. And so unless you have the resources <laughs> that I had for a long time of working right. in a salon or having this dumb idiot everywhere. And I'm also not going to be somebody who, even though my best friend is a hairstylist, to put you in a position to constantly have to She do even my hair. waited three full weeks. Yeah, I didn't ask her one time no. about my hair until last week. You were like, I can't take it anymore. Like, okay, can we talk about my hair now? Because I knew she was moving, and that's very stressful. And there are people that I know, and you know who you are, that the minute this bitch hit Michigan soil, you were like, can you do my hair? Yeah. She just moved here with a baby, a stepdaughter. Wait, I actually have a list. I've been keeping a list. Like, I was like, I knew she was here because clearly I greeted her upon her. With pizza. I got to her home before she did. Yes. Um, with, a, with pizza. With pizza. Me, that was the most important part. We were starving. Yeah. Pizzas <laughs> and all that stuff. But I just like, I'm not going to ask you. I can write it out. I've only written it out since November. But you also, just because you're home now doesn't mean you have the time to upkeep my hair all the time. So I, plus I don't want to do that. I don't want to sit in a chair all like, you know what I mean? Right. Like this is fun because it's here, but still I don't want to do this every week. So to give her something, not just blonde, I did give her like kind of a chunky piece in the front, which is very trendy right now. Because I have a lot of gray And she has a lot of gray hair and then toned her nice and like beigey. And that's all gray. So that as her hair grows in, it, there's not going to be a line. You know, so oh, my hair looks so yellow because number one it is, and number two, and I, my hair is more, and I need a toner. Mine's softer now. But I mean, I did this chunky piece on my hair three months ago, yeah, and because great. I have a lot of gray hair, it's yeah. barely noticeable. So it's a great way to like put a pop of something around your face. But if you are rocking COVID grays, have your stylist do a blend instead of like covering every single one. It's just so much easier for right. life. Like I don't, who's do? Nobody does my hair, right? I mean, you do your own. You've been I do doing my your own, own for a long time. So. Yes, but Kelly cut it at Christmas. Yeah, I do remember that. That's a little. I had, I, had my, I had my wife do my undercut, but like for the top part of my hair and my color, trust me, I had so like um, people I knew that were like, I can highlight it. Right. I'm like, no, you will not. <laughs> and that is not happening. And I was like, I will deal with it because I had decided when I, I left the salon back in October. And then I had my friend Monica do my hair in November before Thanksgiving because I remember I was like, I'm going to get my hair done for Thanksgiving. And then I was like, just make it blonde highlighted so I can go a longer period of time in between. Right. And then I was like, I'll get it again in March because that's a long enough time. And then the world exploded. Right. So and it is now July. And I was like, I like, and I knew it was bad because I would have people go to me. They're like, you should just let your grace come all the way in. And, you're like, and no. I would be like, <laughs> you're like, what does that mean? Shut up. <laughs> I will not do that. But I like this because you can't notice that a lot of this dark pieces are actually, is actually gray. Like you can't right. really see it in there. Right. Like you can see it if I push this back because yep. people still think this is blonde. This is not blonde. No. Anything that she looks has like old man with is, hair. is, but that's just my We should document makeup. the like progress. Transition of my hair. Because growing out an undercut is a bitch. Yeah. Hence why I have been avoiding it like the play. But I pretty much gave her no option. I said, you're done. Because I have to be, but I also was it's not in really a position hard. to like figure out how I was going to do that without her because I don't know what to do. And I was just like, I'm going to have a mullet. And because with me, I wear glasses a lot of the times and it gets like over my ears yeah. and that makes me crazy. But now that she's home, I don't have to worry about that. So then I will bug you with like, we trim this yes, from my ears. There's going to be like transitional haircuts that occur. Yes. Like I gave her enough length so she can put it up when she needs to. It's hot. And then, but as this grows in though, and gets weird and puffy and we're going to have to start making things meet so that it can come in even. So it might get shorter before it gets longer. Which is fine. Cause I've had yeah. pixie cuts. That doesn't bother me, but it's just like that part where I know it's going to be in that weird spot. You may have to super glue it down to your head. I know. Oh, that's some gel. That got so, to be gel. Today that's she said that she's seen me three times this week <laughs> and it's Thursday and I was like, what? It's actually true because I, I watched your children on Tuesday. So we're making up for lost and I time. saw you on Sunday, I think. I don't know. I just see you a lot now. Well, yeah. you live. We live pretty close together. Uh, well, well, we always like, did. Yeah. So when you now, were in Michigan, you were really close. So before. now it's like same again. But now it's like, but what's funny is On the that, other side of town. Don't say where. No, I would I never have say stalkers. that. I'm not going to say where. <laughs> I know you have stalkers. <laughs> um, but what I will say is nice is what, what's funny actually is that, um, so my wife is here. And she's here downstairs right now with her wife, their friends. Manning the annoying children because yeah. they are 
in the out throes of, their of quarantine and boredom. Children, and their children. Right. And so, but Aaron's like, did I tell you blah, 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 blah? I'm like, yeah, I saw you the day before yesterday. And she's like, oh, yeah. And my wife made a point. She's like, we're so used to, like, seeing each other and then like, catching each other Every up. six months. For, like, <laughs> six weeks or even, like, six months of shit. They were like, oh, wait, sorry, I just saw you two days ago. All right, because you were here on the 4th of July. And then you were here on Tuesday so we could go on a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was here today. So, yeah, it's been three times in this calendar week. Right. Which is nice. It's nice to have my yeah. friend back because, thank God, I figured two years. Because you know what? I've done some science. Not oh, really, well, you did it two years. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody I know that moves out of state, and it's either you're going to make it two years and come back or you're no, or you're staying forever. Like, my right. sister stayed forever. My sister moved to Arizona, right. never came back. She's been gone forever. My sister's lived in Arizona as long as I've known you, yeah. right? So, yeah. over 15 years. And then, but she went for two years to Ohio. I went for two years to Arizona. My friend Casey went, moved to Chicago for two years and then she moved back. So like everybody does like this little two year, like I'm going to go here. But I think, first of all, no hate to Ohio, but Michigan's better than Ohio. I mean, so they're both dumb. They're both the same. But <laughs> at least there's water here. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, she's so, she's getting a tooth, Kelly said. Yeah. You can she's see she's like, 11 months here. old and why well, those are her teeth means I think um, um I mean like in her gums but she oh, opens right but you can see puppy gums and in the last two days she's been more like she's not a fussy baby no. she's actually really easy and so she's like losing her when we babysat her on Tuesday she was Kelly made her a bottle before they left and they Emily was holding her and I was like give her to me and I brought her upstairs because she like flung her bottle and I put her in the crib and by the time I came back down the stairs, she was asleep because I have it on my phone. Yeah. She like can her. creepily look at her. I can look at her from my own house if I wanted to, but I don't do that because that's weird. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> but I, she was asleep and I told them, I was like, she was asleep before you guys got to the restaurant. And she stayed asleep the whole night. She never got up. She didn't make a peep. And I was like a maniac because I was like, is she breathing? Yeah. No, it'd be like it's the night I watch. Right. Yeah. That's what I said. The first time I ever watched my niece, like I was terrified when she was quiet. She cried for like 20 minutes. I was like, she died. And my, I call my mom. My mom's like, nope. She's like, I was like, how do you know? She's like, because that's what babies do. I was like, not on my watch. So right, then I open the door and she's great. But yeah, I mean, that's just, you, you have to make sure. Yeah. So, but yeah, she's a good baby. She's just having it. No, she's baby. typically very chill and she doesn't care who holds her. And of course, day. of the day that I'm trying to do her hair, I had it all timed. I was like, okay, when you're getting here, both. The kids are having quiet time. The yep. baby's napping. Older one's having quiet time. This is perfect. Get over here. I can foil your head. But you'll see in the footage. It didn't last I didn't way. take as much footage as I wanted to because I couldn't. Well, the baby was literally <laughs> holding onto your legs. And yeah. then, like, she was trying to shampoo my hair in the sink, mind you, which is all new for us. And because we're used to having, like, a salon at our, you know, disposal things. But now we've decided that, F that I want to be home. Really? Well, yes, and but Kelly, my wife, is building me. A yeah, studio she'll have basement. all those things. Mm -hmm. But and my wife is holding the baby literally next yeah. to us, so the baby is within like arm and eye shot. But she's of just her looking own mother, at me crying, and she's like, <laughs> as if my wife punched her in the face. <laughs> well, did but she? she did not. Oh, no. <laughs> She did not. There was no punching. Emily does not punch. Does so I would just punch, punch baby, baby before Emily would. <laughs> oh, right. But she was free. She just is in that age where she just doesn't feel great because of her teeth, yeah. and she just wants her mom to hold on to her. And Aaron was like, "Oh my god!" Like I can't have two minutes. And then because she felt frantic, because of course you do, because your child is screaming. I was like shampooing her like a. She was doing that cry where they go. <gasps> <laughs> and and there's no noise, and you're like, breathe, kid. And then, but Aaron was like, <laughs> I was like spraying the wall in the kitchen. Like, I was she like, spraying a tin can. I did. The sink on accident. It was the, a truly <laughs> thing. And then you were like, my hair was sopping, the towel was sopping. I'm like, get yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was like, drink the sink. I gotta get my baby. She's clearly being abused by her auntie. <laughs> standing right next to Standing me. three inches from my head. Wow. So, yeah, like, okay, so, hi, we're here. <laughs> Her hair looks fabulous. It does look really good. It's just so weird to see me with like a Norm, haircut. Norm's hair. It's time. But you don't look boring. No, I don't. Well, I never look boring. No. So the stupid summer of COVID is ruining everything. I moved back. We can't freaking do anything. We can't go anywhere. We, we can't had go so shopping. many plans. We don't have any money. We, <laughs> we had so many plans. We were like, we can go to this park and that park. I belong to the... Where we, we live, live on park. opposite side of town, but different city, but same city, but opposite yeah. side of town. When we have nice parks, and I'm like, oh, I already we get it done. I got passes, and we can go to that park, and I know about this park and that park. And we can go here, nowhere, yeah, nowhere. She's been in my house, I've been to hers. The end. All right, 
But luckily, my new house has a great giant backyard. So we have had mm -hmm. fires. We have oh, yeah. had barbecues. The, the girls are probably, the wives are probably barbecuing right yeah. now. Yeah. So I think that's what, because I heard the door open multiple yeah. times. Um, but anything else update wise? No, we are both just on our own now. No more salons. Yep. Didn't um, hate each other and have like a drama <laughs> get in, if it were. None of we that. We should fake one just to fit in with everyone else. <laughs> Done. Um, we just, it's just, it's, unless you have like a lot of money, an editor, somebody that shoots your videos for you, like all of the things that you have, if you have a lot of money, you right. can't do a channel from two different states. It just doesn't really yeah. work out there. I mean, and for it to be cohesive, right. that's the issue. We try. You can, but it's not cohesive. It's we like, tried. I'm over here, I'm over yeah. here, I'm over here. And it just, then you get a baby. Right. So I haven't been uploading because. I literally can't, like, I can't. Like, if I have the baby down for a nap and she hears me talk, it's over. Right. So, like, unless I'm filming down the she street. She's just not that age yet. Yeah. She's just not of the age yet where you can be, like. I actually did film two videos I've never uploaded because I was, like, I never uploaded them. And then I was, like, Bruh. now it's too late. Because yeah. the things are different. Um, because I decluttered, like, almost all my makeup. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was funny. It came up I here. mean, I do have this stash. This is all, you guys can't see in here. I've shown this in other, like, sneaks. Right. These are all my eyeshadow palettes. That's, all, yeah, that's all you have left. Yep. I did film the eyeshadow palette tag and then I never uploaded it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's too, it's, it's again, those things that happen when you get older, like you don't need stuff like that anymore. And I'm a makeup artist. I go do weddings and I, and I do commercial stuff and I do magazine stuff. And I'm going to tell you one thing I've never been asked to do is lime green eyeshadow ever. Oh, right. And for like, and there's certain, there's certain things I can pare down because I don't need that Morphe palette that's like the right. pinks and the reds and yeah. the greens. I keep that because for Halloween, for Halloween. or mm -hmm. I keep that for when I get that one rogue kid that's Crazy. like, I want a rainbow eye, you know? So I'll keep it for that. But anything else I do, it's nudes, plums, This is goals. what's on my vanity. This is what I have on my Literally, eyes. if you are makeup artist, you can do a full photo shoot with And this. then also, I don't know if I've but talked about black. this. No, you, these are $4. Oh, yeah. And they're really good. Yeah. The elf ones. Yeah. Look at that. This and this could literally be a full photo yep. shoot. Yep. Like, look at this color. Let's just derail for olden times sake. Old school YouTube. Oh, That's yeah. really pretty. Does anybody even do makeup on YouTube anymore? Or is it just... There are people. I know. They're just smaller channels. Yeah. Is it just, hi, I'm going to... I'm fabulous. I'm going to make a giant infomercial. <laughs> and then I'm going to get into drama. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't watch those channels. I don't... Face, I mean, Facebook, face, face face like Christmas. I don't really watch those channels anymore. I I will watch. Even James Charles hardly does make it anymore. I know. I've never watched him. Um, I'm I'm 44. I could have birthed him nine times over. Like I just. Well, that's enough to make up for us. That's like, not. I'm yeah, not that's fine. Be doing. And also, can I just say something? If oh, I see one more boy. GD cut crease, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, it's done. That's, that's all. That's all, that's all I have to say. Everyone. That's all. I have to say. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it now. So here's the thing, friends and folks and friends. Um, this is not going to happen often because we are nightmares and too many things are going on. <laughs> we can't get together. However, I do want us to film like guest spots. Yeah. And I'm back. I mean, so I can, yeah. I mean, we'll see where this goes. We're not committing to anything, but I remember when we did those wine slushies guys. I, I, I want us want to one. do like a cocktail. Like I want to do more like. Lifestyle, stuff, lifestyle stuff. which we had talked about before I moved. Like, right. Well, like, I think like the thing of it is, is like the, and we're very honest about like, we're not trying to become the next anybody for YouTube because no, we've been on YouTube for five years. Yeah. And it's just way oversaturated and it's a bunch of children fighting over eyeshadow <laughs> palettes. It's, it's not, it's weird. Okay. And then this one's a racist and that one's a predator. It's just ridiculous. Right. So allegedly, <laughs> al alleged, nobody come for me. Right. Not that they I mean, nobody does because nobody, I existed. Nobody cares what we say. No. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is it's just, so I'd rather just do stuff that we like to do and just talk about crap that we talk about. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like cocktails, or you could even talk about stuff that pertains to the baby that you like yep. and that you've like hacks that you yep. found that you like, or and I can talk about stuff that pertains to whatever I'm doing. And I would have no problem talking about our like pregnancy journey. Yeah. Stuff like that. Just whatever we're living our lives in, because I will tell you that during the quarantine, I wore makeup. Oh, not at all. I think I did a couple of videos made too during quarantine and I was like, this is as far as it goes. I remember <laughs> being like, I have gone eight weeks with no makeup on. Well, plus with what happened during my quarantine, like there was, I wasn't going to make it fun. So I was like, no, 
Not right. My dad died during quarantine. No, Not of COVID. Just no. of old man things. But, but also, like, the worst timing because she hasn't had time to, like... Well, because you can't have a funeral. She can't, yeah. And he lived with me. It was a whole thing. It's but... Hard. Cool. So I was not putting makeup on and cried off of my no. face, bottom line is. And so I was like, I have not worn makeup in such a long time, but I will tell you one thing. My skin looks great. Right, because it had a break. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was, cause it could breathe. I wear a lot of, I don't have really bad skin. I just have very she freckly She doesn't. Skin. We've talked about this, that I like your natural freckly yeah. skin. But you are like, no thank you to that, sir. I <laughs> like to have it. She likes to like kind of blink. The, I actually have a CC cream on right now. I don't have like a full because if Speaking I get real close, you can see my freckles. So this is how I feel like our video and my wrinkles. If I could, oh, like we can just be random and be like this. What is it? I oh yeah, telling you like that. The L'Oreal Age Perfect Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation SPF 50. I have it on. Oh yeah, this is way thinner than mine. It's this super, is also I can never put this on. It's my, very glowy. Like I can never wear any of Aaron's things. That's the problem. No, I told her bring your your base because I'm gonna mess up your makeup well, when I wash her, your hair. Look at the I color ghost. Difference. Ghostly. And actually, my wife was like, "You're really tan." Yeah, look. she's tan. <laughs> well, you are more tan than normal. I've been outside chasing around children. That's but like. you're like you're like the gentle. You're a conundrum because believe it or not, this dumb idiot's like half Italian. I know. Explain that one. Well, I can explain. Part and of I am Polish, German, Irish. Irish. I am super confident. You should be. Yeah, you're like the whitest of the whites. My mom is a little. <laughs> that sounded. We're just talking genetically European. Yeah. Nothing else. She doesn't. She's not erecting statues to racist murderers. No, all. I don't think I would ever do that. So I want a statue to. Take it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Take this hair if you're watching. Come over and be statues. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Our wives would freak out. Um, I do an ancestry and I did my DNA. Oh, that's right. I'm mostly my dad. That's what happened. <laughs> my mom's genetics are kind of like, like over. Yeah, 20. I'm only like twenty nine. Like gentle Englishman. It came out like twenty nine percent. Is that what Italian you know or something? Is? He, English and French, which he doesn't think he is, except and for that Southern. I'm like thirty percent French all of a sudden. <laughs> And southern, yeah. He's a southern so southern. I'm just made of his meats. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see. I have to do that. I have to see my meats because my dad was, as I was told, 100 percent Polish. But I'm pretty then, positive. Yeah, I am almost positive my grandmother was Russian. do. My grandmother was Russian and lied and said she was Polish because it was during the Red Scare. So okay. I think she was like, no, I am. Because I, I am well, not Russian, I'm Polish. <laughs> I did the ancestry DNA test, mm -hmm. and it so it will pinpoint like. That's why. I, that's why I want to do that because I'm almost positive my grandmother lied and said she was Polish when she was Russian. Well, there are four people in my family. I've done a pretty good family tree because my dad's aunt had done one, so I've got handed a ton of information mm -hmm. that I could perplunk in there. And like I've got four ancestors that are named Aaron. Like I'm the fifth one. Oh wow! Or the fourth, somewhere something like that. And so I've always been told that I'm Irish and English, French and English. Mm. There, I oh you're not Irish? Not that I've found. <laughs> no, it will say. I didn't know you were not Irish. I'll show you. Oh, I was looking for my phone. You have like you have killed the cords on your arm. I do. Uh, and my name's Aaron. Um, Go bra. Like now. Isn't Aaron Ireland? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, it does say like British Isles, so that which could, could be, be some. But I do not have an ancestor that I've traced to Ireland. I've only traced on my dad's side. Amazing. England and France. I've traced them back. Yeah, I need to do mine. So yeah, I want to do mine. My mom got really into the ancestry back in the day, like when computers first became a thing. Yeah. Like on OldSchoolAncestry.com, not right. like DNA. Right, though. right. And she did like just the stuff on her side, and she traced my grandfather to Germany and my grandmother to Ireland. But it's more my dad's side that I'm interested in. Yeah. Because all we've been told my whole life is my dad's like a hundred percent Polish. Both my parents are whole. You should do it because then it connects you like, to all, other trees that have. Some I don't the... think anybody's hundred percent Polish because poor Poland has been like right. They were invaded all the time. Yeah. They're always the first one to go because they're yeah. in between everything. <laughs> so like, I don't even think Polish people are fully Polish. They're probably right. more Russian and German and, and then, French and French because they're always just like mm -hmm. they were the first ones to go during World War II. They're well, always like, French their second language because mm -hmm. yeah yeah so. Where have Who we knows? digressed in this? I don't think this anyway. is what our channel is. So okay, we're at twenty five minutes. Okay, <laughs> we said fifteen, so we have to go to our wives and eat foods. Um, but stay tuned for some behind the scenes footage of me doing her hair. Um, give us some feedback. Let you can know. follow me on Instagram at the Aaron Alexis Show. And you can find me at Chris Tamara. 
Yes. That's all I almost is. said .com. <laughs> Just Chris Tamara is my name. Yeah. Like this video if you're happy to see our faces together again. And we will hopefully see you again sometime soon. Maybe we'll make a gentle cocktail recipe or nobody else. Who knows? knows? Who knows what's going to happen next? But these are the same wine glasses we've been using for years. Love the wine you want. See ya, friends. Bye-bye. So we have foiled Chris Tamara. The front I did like a chunk. I love that word. Chunk. So nice. Mm -hmm. So that once she's all shampooed and toned and ready this is actually going to be pink so she'll have like a pink money piece so if you haven't seen her head in a while which most of you have not it's gotten progressively more old man style thanks uh, so or just, just great wait hold on pause he's only don't eat my shoes my baby's Sorry. eating krista's shoes there's the baby she's almost one years old he's only eating auntie's shoes <laughs> so and also the famous undercut still there it's but <laughs> But her hair grew to a thousand feet long because I didn't live here and COVID. And so I cut about three inches off her length before we even started this. So that tells you anything. It was like the little bit. So we are going to aim for... Hold on. Hello. This is my life now. That's why you haven't seen me. Um, <laughs> like a nice pale blonde with the pink money piece in the front. And, you know, she's going to go like, she's going to bob it out and see where we go from there. This is helpful. This is very helpful. Oh, kitties. Wow. It's a little bit shaky. <laughs> We're going to check the blonde. It's been on about 40 minutes. We're still looking a little yellow, as Chris Mara does. My hair does not like to not be cream corn. And we're on, not on a time. Where are you going, But it, The baby is now under my credenza, if you will. Um, how is it with me doing your hair with an infant? Um, a lot more stops. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot more interruptions. <laughs> well, especially Hazel is a very good baby, but today she's in that I only want my mother She's mood. hanging onto my knees again. Um, and we're I, watching little baby bum bum. We, we are. Baby bum. And she wasn't crying, but she knows that I'm not paying attention to her. So now she's crying. So we're going to give Krista about mm, 10 more minutes and then we're going to tone her and I will show you that before we do the pink. Goodbye. We were gonna put pink in it, but now I want to dry it and see how the blonde looks. We've decided not to. And then she's angry at me because I towel dried her with a moist towel. Oh, it's so wet! It's like wearing wet jeans, and I hated it. It's so wet on my hair. <laughs> so I'm about to finish her haircut and then dry her, and then we'll come back for the finished. Oh, that's a beat. Oh my god, that's a video.